So which language you should work in 2019? Is it Python or is it JavaScript? In this video, we are going to talk about which language you should choose in 2019 so that you succeed in your career. Coming up. All right, let's get into the video. So I have used five parameters to compare these two languages and I have written in this paper. The first parameter that we are going to check is the complexity, that is how hard the language is to learn. The second one is the application. The third one is the salary. The fourth one is the demand of the language. And the last one is the future. So let's first talk about the complexity of the language. If you look at the code of both Python and JavaScript, you will find that it is more easy to read code that is written in Python than compared to the JavaScript. Now that does not mean Python is easy, okay? But you should remember that JavaScript is very, very powerful language. Yes, it is even powerful than the Python. Also, when it comes how easy it is to learn, I chose a parameter that how good the documentation are, are available online while you're learning. And uh, when comparing it online, I found that both Python and JavaScript have a very good documentation. Whereas uh, if you want me to mark any one of them at the next level, I would say that, Py that JavaScript has a little more better documentation as compared to the Python. So here, of course, JavaScript wins. The second one is the application. Now, many of you know that the most hot topic machine learning, it uses the language either Python or R. Now you might think, where do we use JavaScript? Now JavaScript is used for web development, usually for the client side, that is in a browser. But do you really want to learn just JavaScript in 2019? Are we not getting biased with, with Python when we are saying we use it, we are using it in machine learning, whereas JavaScript is just web development? I did a research and I found that JavaScript has gone to a very next level. Now guys use uh, libraries like Node.js. It's a JavaScript library that can be used both on the client side and the server side, which helps us make modern web development. I made a video on modern web development. I'll give the link in the description. So if you know, if you're learning Python, you can shift to machine learning later on. Probably you'll surely like to move there. Whereas if you're learning JavaScript, you will move into uh, modern web app, web app development. But if you're, if you're trying to learn Python and then learn Django and start developing websites, then I would call yourself, then I would say that give a second thought it's better if you want to develop a website go with the javascript and not with the python so if you'll compare it entirely depends on your choice of interest if you want to go to machine learning artificial intelligence then you would go for python whereas if you want to go for web development that also modern web development you should go for javascript but it's not like javascript is only used for web development uh, libraries like TensorFlow have also introduced their uh, JavaScript based version. So now if you know JavaScript, you can also get into machine learning. But all in all, I would say again, it's your choice of interest. If you want to go to machine learning, stick to the Python. If you want to go to modern web development, stick to the JavaScript. The next parameter is the demand of the language. Now for this, I used Google Trends and for uh, country, the first one that we have is China. Now, of course, if you look at the graph, China, uh, the guy that China are really searching a lot on Python, whereas compared to the JavaScript. So it means uh, Python has a lot more demand or it is now much more increase as compared to the JavaScript. Let us look at the stats of United States. It is very similar once again. Python leads way above than the JavaScript. The, one of the main reason is because 
a python is used in machine learning so everyone is willing to learn python now let us look at the stats of india it is very similar to the united states and china but i've got one country that is that has a little different graph and that is nepal and if you look at the graph of nepal although python is above javascript but javascript is very uh, rapidly catching python now i do not know what is the reason if you guys watching from nepal let me know in the comment section below what do you think about it so uh, on this parameter i would say python leads uh, javascript but we need to make sure and remember that people are not just using javascript they using libraries like node js and all other stuff or maybe angular so uh, just not to get biased but of course when it comes to popularity and the demand python is in much more demand than javascript these days the fourth parameter is the salary all right so let me be very true it will vary from country to country to demand to demand from market to market but you will take a very average uh, average value so if you know python there are possibilities that you will get a little more pay scale than the javascript because once again if you know python you can move into data analysis if not straight away into machine learning so you have an extra edge if you know python whereas just knowing javascript will not get you a good package so here python wins once again now the last one is the future what is the future language is it javascript or python now see of course artificial intelligence and machine learning is something that is going to take market for next 10 to 15 years but we also need to remember that we all are using website every single day and those websites the uh, possibilities the functions that they have these days are nothing less than an a uh, full efficient app that you use in your phone which are actually those websites are called modern web uh, apps so it entirely depends on what is your interest i would say the future of uh, javascript is node js and angular right whereas the future for python is more into machine learning and ai so if you want to be a web developer i would highly suggest you to learn javascript move into node js and then into angular which is entire framework whereas if you want to learn machine learning then go with the python and there is the way long i have also made a video on machine learning i'll give the link in the description for that the same but for all the students of watching this video from first year remember programming language is important okay programming language which programming language that you choose is very important but before that programming is very important you must know how to program see the concept of if the concept of loops the concept of declaring the variable it all remains the same in entire language only stick to one language that is might be in your third year or final year do not uh, uh, stay with one language just from starting of a graduation while you're in first year second year try to explore as many as feel possible move into it try to make some project fail rise up then feel better then you'll rise better next time i hope you like this video okay i upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday i'll catch you in next video thank you so much for watching my name is stephen simon see you in the next video